in this week's episode of Steps to Adventure. <laughs> I didn't get my nipples in, but it still counts. We got into some proper van life camp. Let's take a minute to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. When we pick up seasonal work and create content for our social media, life can get pretty busy. This is where HelloFresh comes in super handy. HelloFresh deliver fresh ingredients straight to your door. So when we're working on the campsite, we get it delivered straight to there. So on our days in, we don't have to worry about going to the supermarket or meal prepping. One thing we love about HelloFresh is the recipe cards. They are so easy to follow. You can choose from so many recipes on the website. If it was left to Jordan, we'd be eating tuna pasta every night. I don't know what she's on about. I'm better than Gordon Ramsay at cooking. We've been choosing from the quick cook recipes and we're having crispy bacon and caramelized onion cheeseburgers. We have an amazing discount code for you guys, which gives you 60% off your first box and 20% off your next two months plus free gifts. This offer is available for new customers and customers that canceled their subscription over 12 months ago. So click the link in the description or scan this QR code on screen now. Morning guys, we woke up at this beautiful park up in Thirlmere. It's due rain for the rest of the day, but no rain tomorrow. So we're going to head off to Buttermere and see if we can get a wild swim in. This road is a proper bum twitcher in parts. Oh, the potholes are shocking. There was a bit back there and it was like a left bend to then a steep right bend and then a steep left bend. And I was like, it's floored it. How about this for a spot then? So we just actually stumbled across this when we were driving. We've got a nice little car park there. And it's spin around. Waterfall up there. Now there is apparently a wild swim spot in Buttermere. This is where we are. Um, I'm not sure if this is part of that waterfall or if it's something else. But we're gonna go and have a little explore now. Lily's beating me to it. She's already off. Oh my God. How do you even do that? <laughs> I don't think this is safe. <laughs> hey, it is quite bad. I mean, if we go up this bit here, it should be all right, but Annalisa's just nearly fell already. She's not right in the head. Oh yeah. That's really hurt, like my, my, um, yeah, do my, splits. my crotch brone. <laughs> crotch brone, what's that? <laughs> on. Cracking spot up here. I mean, it'd be quite good if uh, later on it gets a little bit quiet and then it can have a little bit of a fire. You know, if it's not raining, it's not windy. Because everywhere is wet, so it should be sweet. But, oh mate, there's like a little ravine over here. At least I reckon we could do a wild swim spot here. Reckon? Yeah, defo. If I can get there. Here she is, look. Look at that. I need my hiking boots on. These trainers <laughs> are too flat. <laughs> and that's the road we came down. Well, came up all the way up here. Cracking road. <laughs> Come on. That's a swim spot, Lee. But I don't think you'll go in because the water's brown. It's the a bit brown, isn't it? Yeah. The water's a bit... Uh... I'm only a clear water gal. <laughs> I don't think I can do the brown water. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> the spray coming off that's class. Oh. Spray's crazy. Just splashing me in the face. I wonder if it's possible to get over. Woo, that is powerful, that is. That's nuts. <laughs> oh my God. If you can hear me, all I'm saying is that is class. That's so good. Right, I think it's time for a brew. Jump in the van, have a brew. Turn the diesel heater on because it is cold out here, really cold. But what a spot this is. 
think this is going to be a good one for tonight. And I can't wait to actually have the first fire of the year as well. It does say by three o'clock that the weather and the rain is going to stop. So fingers crossed it does. Anyway, let's get back to the line. There's nothing better than having like a nice brew with a good view whilst needing a poo at half past two. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that though, isn't it? Yeah. That was nuts, and it in work when that woman come in, she asked for tea and I put a tea bag in the, the cup and she was like, no, no, peppermint tea. And I was like, right, okay, you should have said that. So I put her some peppermint tea in the cup. She went, can I have milk? It's like, wow, milk with peppermint tea. <laughs> so I put her some milk in and then she goes, can I have some sugar as well? And I was like, I give up with the world. Well, I'm going to enjoy my brew. Chill out for a little bit while the rain is uh, still going. And hopefully when that stops, we can go and explore. We've been sat in the van for too long now and I've just popped my head out of the window. I don't know if you can see it on camera here. The sun's finally come out. The mist or the cloud, whatever it is, rolling across the mountains. We with a view. So this waterfall behind me is actually called Moss Force Waterfall. And then, and it's just next to Buttermere. And then tomorrow we're going to do the Buttermere Infinity Pool. And it looks insane. We've been like watching all the TikToks, the YouTube videos, how to get there. So I think we're pretty prepared except for the coldness of it. It is going to be freezing. Come out, mole. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to park then? Because I'm thinking if we have like a little fire and that. I know, I don't know if it's a bit too open there or... A bit too what? Like open, like if people are going to complain. Yeah, so like we'll turn up, maybe reverse in there so we've got our own little spot. Could do. I mean, have a little campfire there. Yeah, could do. <laughs> Because it is quite cold, isn't it? Mm hmm freezing. The fact that we're going to be doing a, like a cold swim, tomorrow is going to be rough, isn't it? <laughs> oh. We need to put our sticker on that sign. And if you do come here, make sure that you take a photo of that sticker and tag us in it. So we've been quite a lot of places in the Lake District, but we've never actually been to Buttermere. And so far, it is definitely not disappointing. And I've seen all my pictures on Instagram and everything, and I just can't wait to get out and explore tomorrow. It's going to be so good, isn't it? Yeah, can't I wait. I can't wait. What do you think? Hmm? The? Yeah. Oh, would you turn a bit more? No, no, it should be fine, I think. We've just moved the van over so we're a little bit more protected from the wind. And then we're a little bit more out of view from, like, people. If the Oh, it's really weird then. If they're driving past and that we're not going to put too much smoke next to that van. All about being thoughtful, guys. <laughs> well, we changed our mind again, we're moving. <laughs> We're going to go side on here and then have the fire here, I think. Yeah. If that's the final decision. That's it, I think. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. Fire pit time, baby. Need to get that out. Because it is getting cold. It's getting, it's cold getting cold out freezing. here. <laughs> Just got one net of logs, which will do the trick now. Do like my axe? It's Looks cool, cool, isn't it? Huh? Looks cool, doesn't it? It does. Look at this. <laughs> Bit bent, isn't it? Didn't we get that from Spain? <laughs> I don't even think it works anymore, to be fair. I think you have to click it like a thousand times. I do have a lighter there. How does it work? It looks like it's doing the job. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a cracker, isn't it? 
what a spot this is. Sat here, got a view of the waterfall straight over there. Annalise's cooking steak. Got some Jura whiskey on the go as well. But I do need to, uh, well, as I said last week, I mentioned about we were thinking of heading to Scotland. Well, we are going to be heading to Scotland because we I need one of them dram glasses, big time, because mine smashed, so I'm going to get two. <laughs> what a fire. So on the menu tonight, we've got salt and pepper beef sizzler steaks. We're having it with salad and corn on the cob. And then over here, I've already cooked some rice, just put tin foil over it to keep it warm. And then that's to go with the salad. So nice and healthy from us. Oh, I also picked this up from Booze. So whenever I go and get a salad out, I get that balsamic glaze and apparently it's really low in calories as well so we're going to try that on it look at that for a setup though it's actually still warm in here i've got the diesel heater on i'm really really low we've got the window open jordan's probably freezing sat outside but it's proper toasty oh my god that looks amazing Wow. This is literally what we've been wanting for ages. It feels so good, doesn't it? It feels like we're back in Scotland again, doesn't it? Mm. What's that beef like? Let's have a go. Honestly, I'm not even lying. Oh, it looks good. Nicest steak I've ever had. Mm. Ever. That's tasty, isn't it? Mm. Wow. And it's only like the Tesco barbecue range, but it's so good. I'm trying not to chew. Because my mic's there and I've got a clicky jaw. <laughs> I don't know what you want to hear. All right, Lil. Well, guys, we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning, guys. We've finally got some sun. I mean, it's a little bit windy, but the sun's out. We've got blue skies, hardly any clouds. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. So we head off. This looks like we're gonna to have to probably go and do that wild swim spot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's go. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I want you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much. It is so busy. When the sun comes out in the lake district, so does everyone else. <laughs> so we've managed to find a place to park. We're quite far out, but on Honister Pass. But it's nice, we can walk in. So we've got a van park here, we've got a river stream. What do you call it? A stream? Like a little river stream. A little river stream <laughs> <laughs> going down here. But oh my God, look at the scenery. It's absolutely stunning. Let's get the bags packed and ready to go. <laughs> I want to get in some cold water swimming. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Bit of a longer walk in like, but that's what you get for having a lie in. The only thing is, to be honest, I'm kind of glad we're parked down here because there's not as many cars and during like this time of year you get all the idiots come out in the cars that they can't drive. Yeah. <laughs> so you end up smashing into people. Last year was nuts. Last year when we was up here, like people were like obviously coming out for the bank holiday weekend and there was literally smash after smash. All right, mate. Do you know what I'm on about? They're my favourite sheep then. I like them ones. People keep smashing into cars while they're doing it. How cool does he look? What are you doing with my jacket on anyway? Well, I've you got... just buy your own. 
So these are my favourite leggings and I've bought some new dope snow but they're not like worn in yet, these are my old ones. And they've got a hole in the bum and I'm not ready to give up on them yet so I've had to put a long coat on so I'm not going to holy bum. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Lake District when the weather's good. It's so much better in at least. Oh, it's just like a different place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a total different place, but it's a shame it just gets a lot of rain. I guess that's why it wouldn't be called the Lake District, would it? Without, without the rain. Without, without, without the without, rain. Without, without the rain. <laughs> now this is a rare beast. It has been eroded by water over many years and it has concaved the ground. Concaved! <laughs> 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 oh, give up. Guys, I think that is where the wild swim spot is, right there. I actually thought it was that one over there in the background, but it's not. It's further down this way. We can hear the farmer. The dogs are like running in circles and like herding all the sheep up off the hills. Crazy watching it. Got it. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's right there and in the view, it's a lake just there, which is just nuts. So I'm gonna get the drone up, show you some sick shots, man. It's actually not as far as what I thought it was though. If you're coming to do this wild swim, this is like super easy. This is probably the easiest one to walk to. What a spot. Look at that. That's like a little infinity pool and the view is the lake. It's absolutely stunning. About out of breath, like, but this is where it is. Woo. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my God, guys. I am not looking forward to this. Oh, I hate cold water swimming. Why do we think about doing this? Why don't we not just go and do somewhere else? Oh, mate, that looks freezing. Is it? Bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to put you down. Right here, just go in. Here we go. You'll do it. You'll do it. Just, just, just drop in. Second time in is not as bad. Look where I got. I got all the way up to here. I didn't get my nipples in, but it still counts. Just go for it. Just drop in and come straight back out. Everyone's like walking past, looking, thinking. They must be off the red. <laughs> Just turn around now. It's the funniest. You do it after like two minutes. I know. Of being in it. Why does it do that? It's so full. Turn boiler on, love. Well, that was absolutely nuts. Annalise is just still getting changed down there. But wow. I mean, I only got in to just under my nipples. <laughs> and I went instantly red. It was so cold, like numbing, but really, really refreshing. We're gonna head down now, 
try and find a little coffee shop and treat ourselves to a nice warm coffee or hot chocolate. That's so nice. <laughs> Look at that view as well. Beautiful. Well needed. Oh, well needed. My legs are numb still. <laughs> still hurting. <laughs> How was that? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was good, wasn't it? I think you're going to have to roll me back to the van. It's like a three mile walk back. <laughs> we should have just got a snack. Literally. Eyes bigger than our bellies again. Every time, but done and dusted, completed it mate. That was so nice, it's called the High Style Kitchen. And the people in there are really nice as well because we did go over to that cafe over there, but they were absolutely rude, so we just walked out and thought we're not giving them any business. Yeah, I know, that's one thing that I start doing now, if people are rude, I just don't give them my money and I'll just find somewhere else, but yeah. the staff in there were really nice. The staff in there were and amazing. the food were, was really good, wasn't food, it? Food, bang on, yeah, you couldn't knock it, could you? And the price is quite good as well, especially for where we are. Yeah. There was a pub over there that the cheapest burger was like £18, wasn't it? £17. Pound, like which is just ridiculous. But oh, I'm freezing now, I've come out. 19 here for a, a burger with chips and salad. But it wasn't too bad. But yeah, we're going to head back to the van now. And uh, go and find a park up for the night, eh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We've got about a three mile walk, I think, back to the van. Just over three miles, isn't it? So, at least it'll warm me up because I'm so cold after sitting in there. Do you the... we could hit you? Yeah. <laughs> off, off the bus. <laughs> Do us a favour, mate. You're going that way anyway. <laughs> That's it. You're going that way, you may as well take us down there. <laughs> That's a bull, isn't it? There he is. All right, pal. Wow, size of him. He's a big... He or she. <laughs> big and anyway. He's long, game, isn't he? Long and big. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> Just having a nice little walk. <laughs> How gorgeous are they? They're lovely, aren't they? They're all dead fluffy. Just all chilling. Come on. I just love the way Lily's just not bothered by any other animals, look at her. She's just like, hey man. <laughs> She's like, Come I'm on. one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We've just perched ourselves here, just to take in the view. Honestly, I think Buttermere is my new favourite place. I just like how untouched it is. Like, there's only a small little village. There's like nothing around you, it's just so beautiful. I think we're definitely going to have to come back and do like a wild swim in here. And I'm wondering if you're allowed your paddleboard in here, because I know in Rydal that's kind of untouched, so you're not allowed your paddleboard or any boats or anything. I might have to Google that when I've got a bit of signal. But it'll be a good spot to paddleboard. There's a woman down there swimming as well. And she said it's not as cold as obviously the flowing water that we've just been in. We've just been walking, you've put me up. We've just, we've just been walking, we found like a little tunnel thing. A little tunnel thing? A little tunnel thing. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. It's like, what does it say? Beware the... What? Ah, beware tunnel roof is low at points. Oh yeah, so you'll have to watch out because your head's quite large. No, you've got the fat head here. No, you've got the fatter head than me. So I think I should go first because if your head hits the ceiling, <gasps> then the whole thing will come down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ugh, it's all slut. Is anybody living here? Oh. I actually can't believe how bright the camera is in this that right, Oh um... you stunning like poo or something. That's so bad. It's a bit slutchy in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best not put it in there then. I've just noticed this cliff face here and all these boulders 
and this boulder here behind me, they're clearly like rocks that have come off the side of them cliffs and then rolled down the hill, which is actually nuts. I'm thinking about it now, our van is there and in front of it is one of those massive boulders. <laughs> Back at the van, let's just double check no one's bloody broke into it. He's already had someone put a bar in the slide door and try and force it open, which is really annoying, but she's intact. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. Look at that. That's nuts. Right, let's go and find a park up for tonight. We're at our park up for the night, so we're just going to chill out, cook some tea. So make sure to join us next week to see what we get up to.